Hello travels out there. Today in this video I'm just going to be letting you guys know what I got to on my Wednesday. It's the middle of the week so you guys know what that means. Only two more days until it is the weekend. Today I was woken up really early by my old brother who was going off to work. I had a shower, got changed, went on stairs and had some toast and a cup of tea and went onto my Facebook Twitter and Instagram and was tied in my office up from where I've been working on my book series the previous day. My mum was up, my dad had work, he got back from work and went off to bed and then I had a nice fresh shower and got myself ready for the day ahead and we were going off to see my young sister at her uni and going off for food and having a nice catch up with her and so my dad got up and my grandparents arrived and we got ourselves ready and then we went off down to my sister's uni and it was a really nice day having a nice catch up with her and went and saw her dorm room and she managed to fit all her stuff in which is a miracle because she just took so much stuff of her. We thought, how on earth is she going to get that all in one room? And on the way up there, I was texting this guy I'm talking to non stop, and we're getting on really well, taking it slow, trying not to be too crazy about this because this is what my like first, well, going to be my first proper relationship. I know, crazy to think, but I just don't want to mess this up. and. It's a really, I got a really good finger, and he knows about my dyspraxia, and I like dolls and doll stuff, and lots about me. And I've been now texting a bit because he's giving me his number as well, and we're hopefully going to be meeting up at the Mall for coffee on Sunday. His brother's got a stag do the night before, so he said make it later on in the day, not too early. So I said that would be good for me anyway, because later on in the day would be easier for me as well. So we're just going to be, I'm just, I've messaged him to see when is the best time and where to meet. So I'm just waiting to hear back. But yeah, he, I've been with him for a couple of weeks now and it's going really well. So who knows where this may lead? You never know. And we went off to Wellspoons again. We went to the Wellspoons the first time last Friday when we, no, last Saturday when we took my sister to uni. And now we're going, we went again and I had some barbecue ribs and they were delicious. Absolutely love barbecue ribs and had another J2O and got a nice photo of some flowers for my Instagram and another photo of one of the mirrors that they have in the restaurant. And then we took my young sister off back to her uni dorm and we didn't actually go in this time and we waited out. We parked outside and then she went off to the shops because she was having a movie night this evening with her uni mates so we wanted to get some popcorn and stuff and then we made our way home and I had to sit in the far back of the car because there's the driver and passenger seat and then there's the middle bit and then there's a bit far, at the far back where I had to sit and I'm super clumsy and I thought I was going to face plant trying to get in and out of that part of the car that I've not actually sat in before because it's a very new car and I fell asleep on the way home then we got back home and I charged my phone as my phone was almost dead and I had so many messages and stuff when I went back on my phone after having it full charge and yeah I then went onto my Facebook Twitter and Instagram I just looked that way because I thought my dog house had one out here and I then played with my dog house out in the garden through the transport for him as he was super hyper when we got back and I tied my office up and my blue top dolls up and I've been sorting them out and put those away. Went and drew and did some arts and craft and some colouring pages and was having a nice catch up with my grandparents. We had some cups of tea and watched a bit of TV, listened to a bit of music and then the ice cream man came so we all got ice creams and then I went up in my bedroom and was sorting my dolls and dolls up for my been filming and editing my doll game slash show and my grandparents went off home and my old brother came back from work and he's making himself tea and we had a cooked tea a cooked dinner at the restaurant so for tea I'm just gonna be having a snack tea and I watched today's home neighbours and then my grandma other grandma called up and she was, she's got dementia now so she's getting herself in a state and was wondering where her carers were so my mum just had to calm her down and talk to her and then her carers came and answered the phone so it was all sorted out. And my old brother is going off to rugby later on and my younger brother was at a festival 
and had been staying in the caravan with his mates, eight of his mates in one caravan. God knows how they managed to fit in there. But they had a really good time and he's now back and he's gone off out with his girlfriend as it's her birthday tomorrow. And my mum and dad were looking for a birthday card and I had a card. It's a Christmas card with a, a little present on the front. But it could be a card for anything. So I gave it to them and they coloured in the ribbon with a bit of pencil to add a bit of colour to it because it's just black and white and we're in there so we're going to give it to her when we next see her so that'll be good and I watched some stuff off the court and BBC player and catch up that I needed to watch and worked on some new songs I played on my keyboard a bit as I'm learning some new songs on there and there's a bit of Paloma Faith, Pirate Disco, Kylie and I cannot wait I'm seeing her next Friday I can't believe how fast it's coming it's literally crept up in me because I've just been so busy with learning how to cut hair, the prospect of me hopefully going back to college to do hair and beauty and doing gardening and just lots of different things. It's just been so busy. I've been here than ever. I thought that it'd be me not being in college and the days would just go so slow. But it's just been here. I've been here than ever and it's just the months have just been going so fast. And yeah, I really do hope I can get back into college. but. Who knows, we just have to see. My mum's trying to sort that out. And my mum is now tagging along with me when I go on holiday with my grandparents on the 29th of September for a week down in Devon in a nice lodge. And more than Maria, I love my family. Family time is precious. And yeah, she has anxiety. And so she might come down. She might not even be able to get out the door. Things like this, we never know. So hopefully, fingers crossed, she can come. Otherwise, it would just be me, my grandma, and my grandpa, and I just spend most of my time like with my grandma. And my grandpa normally just sits and looks out the window, and because he can't really move that well now because of his legs and stuff and knees. So I said we could get a wheelchair, and I could just roll and dodge to the seafront and get an ice cream. But he said, "No, I will not," because he's still try he tries his best to walk and stuff, but he does find it a bit hard now. Bless him. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this holiday because it's my first holiday of this year. And yeah, the end of September is going to be so awesome. Seeing Kylie and then going on holiday to Devon, I cannot wait. And my grandma's a bit worried that I get bored, but I'll take my journal, my reading book, my drawing pad and my beat up doll and probably be on social media most of the time because I still get Wi-Fi, thank God. And there's also a TV, so if it's a rainy day, we can just watch a bit of TV. I'll bring some cards and board games for us to play and when the weather's nice I'll probably go off walking and get some photography pics because I just love photography and my grandma said that there's quite a few British trust places around and I love going to places like that so she said we'll be going to a few days so yeah I'm really looking forward to my holiday it's going to be awesome and I watched last night's British Bake Off absolutely loved the British Bake Off and I watched some episodes of Merlin and I'm getting back into that and I'm watching it from season one to season five. I think, yeah, it, did, it only did five seasons. I used to watch it all the time and I've just got back into that. And also watched the episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and watched the newest Ghostbusters film with the all-female cast. Wasn't so keen on that film at first, but now I've watched it a few times. I actually really like that film now. And I was watching some episodes of... RuPaul's Drag Race and America's Sex Model and some other commentary stuff and some fashion project one way stuff. And I watched some Dollhouse Toll videos and it does some Dodge Dodge stuff off AB Amazon and Spurs that I'm hopefully going to be getting. I watched some Dodge Toil stuff and I then sorted my Dodge and Dodge off from where I've been playing my Dodge drama and some filming and edit of that. Moved some of the Dodge and Dodge stuff one and put some of the new Dodge on display and some of the older Dodge back in storage and sorted some of the heads and outfits that, that needed a bit of TLC. I played with my main Blue Truck doll and I did a bit of Dolls and Dolls photography and then put my Blue Truck dolls away from what I've been sorting them out. And for tea, I am just going to be having a sandwich and a cup of tea. And I wrote a bit of my journal already and I'm going to be finishing off writing my journal and then watching this evening's soaps. And I watched some vlogs and some vines and some stop motion stuff and some manga and anime stuff. And read Vogue, Hello and some Dot 2 and Marvel and DC comics. And read a bit of a series of fortune events, the tenth book that I'm reading at the moment. Absolutely love Lemon Snicket and J.K. Rowling and Jackson Wilson. They are my free writing inspirations. I absolutely love their works. And I watched the second high part of film and watched some episodes of Friends.
Big Bang Theory, Ham and Weather, Running Grace, and some other comedy stuff. Laughed at much better than after. Absolutely love a bit of comedy and watch a stand up show of Michael McIntyre and Lee Evans. Absolutely love comedy. And I listened to one of the Glee soundtracks. Absolutely love Glee. Absolutely love Glee. Missed that show so much. I watched some more Glee episodes and watched Watch Our Picture Show and some other musical stuff. And did a bit of karaoke and listened to a bit of Shania Train and some other singers and bands. And I then watched some episodes of Pine and Prejudice and some other period drive stuff and watched the newest episode of Castle Street last night, Sam's funeral. And Ian was being so mean to Paul Ruby. I know he's grieving, but there's no need to be so harsh to Paul Ruby. He's already lost Sam. At this rate, he's going to end up losing Ruby as well if Ruby ends up quitting because of him. And I also watched some episodes of Hobby, hashtag Dofty. I love Dom and Lofty. And watch some Wob on stuff and Malik stuff and some other fandom stuff that I'm a part of. I absolutely love Wob on Malik and Will and Sunny and Dofty. And I'm now off to go finish writing my journal, have my tea, and watch the season of soaps. And then going to be working on the new start to my book. I hope you guys have all had a lovely week so far. Have a lovely rest of your week, and I shall see you soon with a new vlog coming very soon. Bye.